So I'm gonna educate you on the art of makeup removal and restoring yourself to sanity after post-drag apocalypto. But the first thing is I have some adhesive and prosthetic things going on here. So I'm gonna remove using Bondoff, it's a product you can get at Alcone. And I like to use it because it's designed to remove um, adhesive. So I'm just gonna loosen it up underneath the eye. I don't wanna um, damage my skin. And I use a little product on top of the glue on the skin to break it down before I use other products to remove the actual makeup. The integrity of my skin is very important to me, so I'm using a pretty intricate step-by-step -step system so that I can be gorgeous all over again. This is also beneficial for maintaining the uh, lace front. When you use a Q-tip or a cotton pad with Bond Off, you will maintain the life of your wig or your lace front. We're also going to do the same for the lift tape. Drag artists that are using wigs and tape, it ends up ripping their hairline away. So it's really important to focus on keeping every part of yourself intact through your career. Perfect. These can be reused, just so you know. Save them in a nice little container like the one they came in. All right, now I used a prosthetic adhesive called Prosaid to glue the glitter onto my lid, which would make this performance proof. These uh, glitter applications would be worn throughout the night. The best way to usually remove glitter is to use uh, scotch tape, but because I used a permanent glue, it might be a bit, let's see. Yeah, it's not picking up the way I wanted it to, but we can get off a majority of the glitter like this. If I didn't use Prosaid, it would come off immediately. The Prosaid makes it bulletproof. Uh, Pond's Cold Cream to remove my makeup. Now this product is one of those uh, classic products. I've, I've done a video specifically for this remover before. And um, it's kind of like my go-to to break down the makeup before I do the, the proper cleanser, which is like several other steps. Breaking it all down. It's gonna stain because I use long wear and highly pigmented products, so this is accurate. So this is pretty much what you do. You take some time, couple minutes, you massage the skin and all of the glue and everything will start to kind of come up. I'm afraid to open, oh yeah. Pretty good, and this is like on Drag Race. This is how we'd have to take off our makeup, get back into being a boy, and then go and film our interviews after an episode. So it was definitely like skin had gone through hell. And you just take a, a sheet of paper and you wipe off all of that makeup. Okay, so now I've gotten most of the makeup off with the uh, cold cream. I'm gonna use a makeup wipe. These are from Alcone, but you could use any makeup wipe you like. And at this time, you could pretty much go in and just wash your face of any of the, f the remaining glue that's in the brow, because the glue stick is usually pretty stubborn. There's still some product in my brow. That's gonna be a little bit more soap and water. But soap being a great cleanser that you like to use to keep your skin in balance. And I'm going to wash my face now. So now that I've cleansed the skin, I'm going to hydrate and get my my moisture balance back. Um, I love this line, it's IS Clinicals. I use this, I'm not paid to promote this product. I absolutely love this whole product line. Uh, I was recommended IS Clinicals from a dermatologist I go to and I have used it for over a year and it's really helped my um, my skin, which is very acne prone, especially when doing drag, wearing that kind of makeup and you're in it for like a 12 hour day, the skin gets um, suffocated and then you end up breaking out. But once again, products are personal, so you gotta use what works for your skin. Um, I'm gonna use a copper firming mist. And that's basically a hydrating spray. I don't like to use it to set my makeup. I prefer to use it on bare skin first before I apply any topical products. And it helps with making your skin feel hydrated again and also a bit tight. All right, now I'm gonna use a little hyaluronic acid and this is a serum. It's called Hydrocool. It's very sleek on the skin, one pump. Take it through the neck and the face before moisturizer and sunblock and makeup. It's the first step. And the next thing you could do is use, for me, they have these, um, these two serums that I alternate between. So I 
Super Serum Advanced is the morning one right here. And I put a drop of that like here, here, and here. And I even use it on my body when I want to just even everything out. Like in the winter when you're kind of hibernating, you're not getting any sun. And at night, I switch it to Active Serum for nighttime. The combination of both of these are kind of like exfoliating without using a scrub. They're an acid, so they help with the cell turnover of the skin and it makes you look radiant. So right now, since it's still a bit daytime outside, I'm gonna add a little bit of this to the skin. And the benefit is helping to remove like pigmentation. I have a few little dark spots. I have a little breakout here on the side. And so adding this to my breakout is going to regulate my adult acne because that is an unfortunate but true situation that I face from time to time. I'm gonna use a little bit of um, eye cream. It's Youth Eye Complex, so another product by Eyes Clinical. And the beauty of it is it's, it's a firming under eye cream, so it keeps everything together. And you're targeting just kind of what your concerns are. So for me, I just wanna keep the hydration nice for underneath the eye because that skin's very thin. It needs extra TLC. And now I'm going to use the Youth Complex Moisturizer. This is just a like lightweight firming. And I've, I'm all into anti-aging if this can fix everything. It's a lot of faith in a product, but I'm feeling my fantasy. Now that I've gotten my skin moisturized, clean, I'm feeling clean and refreshed. That's the goal, and we got there. I'm gonna use Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage, and this color is an SC3. And I like to use these shades, this is my personal, so it's pretty worn down. And I like to use this product with like a stippling brush. I'm just gonna go underneath the eye and really help even out my discoloration that happened from makeup removal. Like that takes a toll on my face. After I take off my makeup, my eyes are really pink and like my lip line is really pink. So this is just to kind of make my all over skin look pretty enough to go out and you know, if I was at home, I wouldn't put on any extra makeup. I would just put on the skincare and enjoy the rest of my day. But if I'm going out in public, I always put on a tiny bit of concealer. That's minimum. I'm gonna use Laura Mercier Universal Powder. And this is just gonna help control the shine. Okay. And this is just kind of like a smooth and hydrating and healing formula. No scent, no fragrance. It's awesome. I'm done. Hope you had a good time. And I hope you've learned how to restore your face to sanity. Thank you for watching.